Hey folks, so I've had several of you guys asking how it was that I converted my mill from having a hand crank like this to having a drill like this. So switching this over is actually really, really simple. So at least for the HN130 model, the original 130, I don't know if this will work for the Max or any of the smaller models, but the handle is only connected onto here with a little pin that goes through there. So this would be driven all the way through. It would be about flush on either side of this, this shaft, the collar here. Uh, so all you need is, well, really anything that is smaller than this hole. So you could take, say, a, a nail, grind off the tip and use that. You could use a punch. Whatever you've got on hand, you just need to drive this pin out of here. And once that's out, this handle just will slide right off from here. And now you've got a smooth shaft and you can see that hole that goes through there. And then once that comes off, you can just grab your drill, put it on there, tighten that down, and then... You're good to go. Now, the shaft on this thing is 0.47 inches or... Uh, 15 30 seconds which also works out to just a little under 12 millimeters so as long as you've got a drill that will chuck something up to half an inch you should be good now the only other thing that i'll add is that you probably do want to have a if you're using a battery powered drill one that has a fair amount of torque to it because this uh the sawmill head is not light and I can really tell a difference in the sound between when it's raising and lowering it and it's it's really does put it under some load so that really is all that it takes to convert this thing from a hand crank to running off of a battery powered drill uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys and as always I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time